Miss Aurora is back. Secured entrepreneurs tonight. Miss Aurora cannot end the day without discussing owner dependence with entrepreneurs. In this video, Miss Aurora wants to get into how it is you're going to overcome owner dependence as an entrepreneur. Because as I already shared today, we put out quite a few fires this past week. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that your name is attached to things that are causing you both legal and financial harm. Your name is connected to things and situations that are now causing you legal and financial harm because you're out here trying to be in business, but you're not operating in commerce correctly. So now we have to backtrack and fix some things. Let's get into the levels of owner dependence that many of you entrepreneurs are experiencing, even in this moment and how it is we remedy those things here in the secured entrepreneur movement. Can we do it? All right. So for those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day and I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you build six and seven figure tax free businesses. You heard it right. Stick around. And we all know that this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. All right now, Secured Entrepreneurs, I want to thank everyone who has come on board this month of July here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. I want to thank everyone who emails. Please continue to do so. Info at auroradayconsulting.com. We have had so many things going on this past week with entrepreneurs who first, and this is one of the levels of owner dependency, okay? This is one of the levels of owner dependency. Because when we go to the Secretary of State's website, this individual had their name listed as the owner of this entity also had their name listed as the registered agent and the individual had their own address. Okay. Now, we know that this happens. We know that this happens because people are being advised to go to these online paper mills. Oh, all you have to do is put in your, 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 your name, your company's name, your company's address, all these things. But they're not telling you that number one, you need a commercial address. Okay. Number two, you need to, you need to have that EIN being applied for correctly. Number three, you need to have a true registered agent. That's not you. Number four, the registered agent needs to have an address. That is not your address, possibly not even your business's address. Okay. All of this is bringing about a level of owner dependence. Okay. This whole thing is depending on you being the owner. And when the owner is jacked up, everything is jacked up because you have not separated yourself from that entity. So we've been talking about, you know, how quickly you can fall into having to file a bankruptcy. Well, that's the chapter seven right there. Been there, done that, right? Okay. You, it's you, 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 you. Owner dependence. You're on everything. So now that you're having this issue, you can't sit up here and say it's not you. You cannot say it's not you. Then, then... This individual, and, and I understand the situation behind it, did not have a bank account specifically for the business. This individual was still collecting money in his name, okay? And this has to do with him getting misinformation, did not get the correct information, all right? The remedy 
to all of this, as we know here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement, in this community, we know that we are not going to be a member managed entity. That box on the document will not be checked. Okay. We are always and only manager managed. We are creating manager managed entities for a reason. Okay. You are not applying for an EIN as a sole proprietor. You are not applying for an EIN as a single member entity, anything. Okay. That part, part of the problem is these individuals who are going to these paper mills and, 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 you know, online forums without the proper guidance do not know how to complete the online EIN a document on the irs.gov uh, website. They don't know how to complete it properly. So when they get their documentation, it's like, oh, it says this and that. Okay. But, th but you gave them that information. You, you, you input that. There's your owner dependence right there. Now, now this whole thing is dependent upon you. Everybody knows who you are, what you do. You told all these people that you did that. And don't get Miss Aurora started on how you completed the form on uh, Dun and Bradstreet's website. Owner dependence. Okay. So you have to learn how to complete these things the proper way so that you are consistently, constantly, indefinitely managing. You are managing the other owner dependent situation that we had to deal with this week had to do with assets. Now, why would anyone place a tangible income producing asset in their name that is attached to an entity that is a single member entity? Why would you do it? Well, misinformation. Okay. Not understanding that that is the wrong way to operate in commerce. You should never place an income producing asset in your own name. You must have the proper legal entity to work that out. Okay. And so for all of our real estate preneurs, many of you already know, if you are investing in real estate, you are going to have a solid legal entity to take care of those things. All of that, all of that real estate has no business being in your name. Even if you are the individual who secured a mortgage loan, there are other ways to not only protect yourself, but to protect that asset because you need to step away from owner dependence. Now, you know, Mr. Roar bumps into a lot of people who they have this thing about having their name on everything. They've got something to prove. Oh, you see this? My name is on it. They like to whip out utility bills. You see, my name is on it. They like to whip out registrations for vehicles with your liabilities. You see, my name is on it. They like to whip out warranty deeds. You see, my name is on it. Okay, dude, this house belongs to the bank. Where, where, where are we going with this? All of this owner dependence. That is not the way we do things here in the secured entrepreneur movement. There is no profitability on a high scale in that. The other thing that we faced, new secured entrepreneur. So we changed a lot of this. The automobiles that were being used for the business were in the gentleman's name. I can't make this up. These automobiles, one was clearly purchased, still sitting in this man's name. The other was still being financed. And the, 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 the insurance was not correct because 
the car was not being used, you know, for a personal use. The car was actually being used for the business. So if something were to have happened, there would have been an issue because the car was not in use the proper way. We didn't, we didn't, none, none of, all of it was wrong. All, all of it was wrong. And a lot of people are out here trying to be in business this way. You have got to come away from thinking, feeling, and operating under the influence of owner dependence. So how we remedied this owner dependence for this new secured entrepreneur is, uh, Mr. Roar is going to put slides up so that you understand what I'm saying. We had to, we had to dissolve his original entity because it was done incorrectly. He did not even have the proper business credit attached to it. He was putting his own money into this venture. You know, he needed the, the vehicles for his business because he's delivering things, but it was done the wrong way. Okay. And his tax filing for 2022 was a mess. He's trying to get through 2023 right now. He has not filed. So, you know, we're, we're helping him to fix these things. All right. So what we did was we dissolved the original entity. He now has two new limited liability companies that are manager managed. He needs to have that because he's working different things. This business is working different things and he needs the ability to pass tax through to another entity. Why? Because he actually has some assets. He's got some tangible assets that are income producing that he needs for his family, he needs to protect them, right? So we gave him a very solid irrevocable trust and his testimony will have you all hollering because that was a real dog and pony show working that out with his spouse and all of her family members <laughs> because she didn't understand what this was all about. So she, 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 she has to wait, she has to wait her turn. She has to wait her turn. Okay. But, um, we gave him a solid irrevocable trust to house, not only the car, but they have a property that they live in that belongs to them. It, it, it was actually an inherited property. So the property was paid for before they got there. So now that home is no longer in his name. It is in the name of the trust. Now they are avoiding legally a state tax and taking advantage of everything that comes with that property being hooked up in that irrevocable trust. He and his wife are extremely ecstatic. They had never heard of these remedies. They did not know anything about what they could possibly be doing today. That's going to help them not only make money, but to protect themselves and protect their assets. So they're very, very overjoyed at this time. Now, how many of the secured entrepreneurs know that when you own the automobile outright, when you own the automobile, you have to have car insurance. you got to have insurance. You got to have a certain level of insurance. Okay. They no longer own one of those automobiles. So that cut the type of insurance that they were paying because they don't own the car. The trust owns the car. So the insurance that they were paying, they are so happy right now that they are no longer paying that insurance bill. Because how many of the secured entrepreneurs know that some of these uh, monthly payments for insurance is another car payment. Okay. And that's what they felt like. So because th their whole system was incorrect, they brought on more stress for themselves. The whole thing was extremely stressful. Now everybody's going haywire. 
we, we think that we're in business, but we, we are ready to actually give it up because it's too much work. It's too much work. And why was it too much work? Because it was all done incorrectly. All right. And if you don't have proper tax planning, if you don't have proper tax planning again, when everything is in your name, owner dependence, we overcome this owner dependence. You do not need to file a 1040 ever again in your life when you are operating properly in commerce. Now, these are the facts. There are too many people on this planet who do not and will not pay any type of income tax. There are people walking around this planet who do not and will not ever pay any type of federal income tax who will not pay any type of state income tax. These are the facts. Okay. Now for your business, you will have taxes for your business. You will have taxes for your business, depending on what type of business you are actually running. There will be taxes attached to your business, but even those taxes, could be much less than some of the taxes that some of these new secured entrepreneurs have walked in here paying all because the way they were operating their businesses was incorrect. Okay. So the moral of today's video is come on out of owner dependence and let's get this thing done the right way. The next sole proprietor to CEO group program is August the 1st at 4 PM. That is a Thor's day party people in the place to be. Okay. You are going to get the very same thing that this new secured entrepreneur and his wife received. You're going to get two anonymous LLCs. You're going to get one private trust. You're going to have a full business credit program. And this is not you going to a platform. This is you working with Miss Aurora. So this thing gets done correctly. Okay. You're going to get 90 full days of business consulting with Miss Aurora. You're going to have the opportunity to come into a community to now network with like-minded entrepreneurs such as yourself. Okay. This is a whole learning experience. This is coming away from owner dependence. Get all that stuff out of your name. Understand that you need to operate and live in trust. That is, that is it. That is it. That is how the world is actually moving and all of the secured entrepreneurs do know that. Okay. That's what Miss Aurora wants to share in this video. I don't even know what time it is right now. You all know that Miss Aurora starts around 3 a.m. And it's probably, I don't know, 11 p.m. right now. <laughs> okay. So please comment like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not. All right. That's what Miss Aurora is going to ask you to do. And you all know you can find Miss Aurora at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.